In this video I'm going to create an object class. I always create an object class that makes game development so much easier. Um, these are our objects. Everything we draw onto the screen I like to think of as objects. Um, unless it's text or whatever and that's a different story. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make an object class to allow us to um, cr treat these objects like a game. So I'm going to say function object this is how you create classes in JavaScript in case you didn't know that and I want to say X Y um, actually I'm going to say image X Y and so then this we're going to say this um, this dot image equals new or this dot sprite equals new image and I'm going to say this dot sprite dot source equals image and then I want to say this dot x equals x this dot y equals y this is a basic the, the basic first like creation of our object class basically um how I show you how to draw an image on the screen you're going to specify an X, a Y, and a, basically a sprite for um, from a string for your object, and it's going to give it a, uh, like a, it's going to give it that X, Y, blah blah blah. But what I, we also want to make is some other variables. Um, this dot previous X and this dot previous Y is stuff I like to make. Um, some others would be this dot velocity x, this dot velocity y, and those are some basic ones we're going to use. Now what we can do is we can say um, var player equals new object, and we're going to draw it. We're going to give it um. We're going to say images forward slash u right dot png comma 100 comma 100 and then now that will create an object and it's going to have the sprite here and then 100 100 for its x and y now when we say draw image we're going to say player dot sprite comma player dot x comma player dot y now when you save this and run it as you can see the player moved over there the reason is because we gave it a hundred and a hundred but that but the reason we did all this is because we're going to start using this object class to create our objects as you can see how easy it was to create an object from this we gave it a sprite an x and a y now all we have to do is let's say for every loop I say um Let's say every time it loops, I'm, I say something like player dot x plus equals one. And now when I refresh it, as you can see, your character is going to start moving um, because it, as I said, um, we cha just change this x and we draw it on the screen. It draws its x. And I suggest to label things. I like to label um, as pre-variable adjustments and then a section for post-variable adjustments and then a section for, or no, a section for pre-variable, I'm thinking of C++, um, and a section for rendering. So variable adjustments, rendering, and logic. Yeah, we do want to have a post variable adjustments and a pre variable adjustments. The reason is because we're going to deal with like logic here, and we might want to change variables af before or after the logic. Um, and then we have rendering where we draw everything to the screen. So that's just it for this tutorial, and as you can see, I'll make it go a little bit faster, or we can just wait. But as you can see, Mario will not go out of the canvas. 
because you can't draw things outside of the canvas. He just goes away. That's it for this tutorial. In the next, we will do some events.